Okay. Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's Monday, February 24th of 2020. Um, I'm back using one monitor and I tried, I've been messing with 4K and uh, 4K just does not work for me the way the way it should with what I'm doing. And believe me, I have tried every combination and everything. Uh, it, like watching 4K, Netflix, or even YouTube stuff, it just buffers for me. Um, I don't think that I can even change it to 30 frames per second in the, hang on here a second, I think I just tried, let's see, go to uh, settings where, okay, there, well, I better not mess with this, but yeah, when I, if I change this to the settings for 4K, and I go down and change to 200%, it will not let me change here to 30 frames or to 30, you know, 30 hit, uh, well, 30 frames, of, uh, 30 kilohertz. Um, I think that's the problem. But um, anyway, so I'm, you know, 1920 by 1080 with one monitor. I tried, I've used two monitors, I can do that, but I don't have really two monitors take up, my, you know, I have a smaller desk, remember I got a smaller desk not long ago. Um, I don't know. I'm still now a, you know, a uh, Linux, you know, an Ubuntu uh, or Zorin user. I've given up Windows. I'm Windows free. I've broken the habit. No problems. Um, by the way, for the last month, I've been uh, for years paying for T-Mobile ser phone service. And I paid uh, $50 a month, but I did it for the, uh, where I just paid each month. Well, I never use hard, I'd almost never use my cell phone. So what happened a couple months, uh, you know, the first of the month came and I didn't, they did, I don't think they sent me an email or anything. I didn't know that, I didn't, so anyway, I might have been to like the second or the third or something rather, and had something come up where I had to take an Uber someplace, it happened twice, and uh, took the Uber, you know, so, you know, my phone was working Wi-Fi, so I was able to get the Uber, go out and get in the Uber, go to where I was going, then I came out from the place, and then I was standing out there, what in the hell, you know, for 30 minutes, why isn't my phone connected? And then it hit me, wait a minute. Now that happened at least twice. So uh, a couple of months ago, I just went to T-Mobile and clicked on, okay, here, here's my bank account or credit card or whatever take, you know, the money out. And then the first month it didn't happen. And then I went and checked the settings or whatever for like actually for this month, you know, and made sure it was set correct. And they didn't take it out at the first of this month. And maybe they want me to call them up or whatever. I don't want to fucking call up anybody unless I positively have to. I just don't want to use my phone. And not because of money or anything, but you know, I'm paying 50 a month. I, not because of money or anything. It's, I don't want to talk to anybody on the phone unless I have to. You know, if it's a family member or the pharmacy is calling about refilling a prescription or my doctor's office is called or whatever, but I don't want to talk to anybody on the telephone, you know. I also don't want text messages or whatever, you know. Send me an email. So anyway, I, I've given up on T-Mobile. So for the last week or so, I've been looking at uh, various other plans. And I ordered, 
uh, yesterday and it'd be delivered today, this uh, Mint Mobile kit. So I had to pay $45 for it. And they're charging, they charge $15 uh, a month. But you have to pay for three months uh, it, at one time. Now at the end of this three month period, uh, if you want to continue doing a three month plan, then it's $20 a month and you have to pay, you know, $60 or whatever. I don't know why they have to do that. But so anyway, if you want to, if you want the $15 plan, then you have to pay for a year's plan in advance. I'm not sure I'll be alive a year from now. So I, anyway, I went ahead with this plan. Uh, I, we use Sprint Internet service. Not we don't have cable TV, but we have felt, so we have a phone line also from them, which my ex-wife uses. Uh, and they have a twenty-dollar plan for cell phones. I couldn't even read the fine print in it, and I know uh, Spectrum anyway from us having had cable TV service in the past and the way they do things that I just don't, I don't trust them and so I'm going with these people here and we'll see how that goes I'll let you know it should come today I can't decide whether I'm afraid if I use I have actually two Google phone numbers I don't even know what the phone number on this cell phone you know if somebody asks me someplace, I go to the pharmacy or whatever, I don't even know, you know, I have to look it up. I don't know what my phone number is. So I'm not sure today I have to make the decision, do I want them just to give me a new phone number or do I want to have them use whatever number I'm using, which I think is a Google number. So I'm not sure about that. Anyway, this is the plan. I'll let you know how this goes today. Uh, I'm just afraid if I try to, uh, I think it might be safer to have them give me a number because I'm just afraid if, if I try to give them this Google number that something isn't, you know, that it's going to be locked by uh, T-Mobile or that there's something wrong. And I read the reviews. There was a couple people that, they said, do not make, a, on the reviews here on Amazon, do not make a mistake when you're getting your number. Because if you make a mistake and, and uh, whatever, you have to repay, you have to pay, they won't. You know. So somebody went back and changed it and said, okay, they made a partial refund to me. So i got a feeling I'm just going to take a new number. Um, for the last month or so, I've been looking at these hub devices. And I think I'm going to go maybe with this one here. I haven't decided yet because uh, my arthritis is so bad. I mean, you would not believe, and I'm always unplugging, having to unplug things, get down on the floor, and I'm always making changes, and it hurts. Sometimes I get down the floor, I just think, I'll just stay here. I'll just stay on the floor, you know. But also, uh, it would be nice to have a thing sitting on the desk and have everything plugged into that. Um, and then, have, of course, that plugged into the computer. But uh, also, I have I have a old Chrome box, which I never used, and then I purchased a month or two ago a brand new Chrome box. And uh, it would be nice to have the hub for it. And uh, it has, by the way, on it a, which I, uh, which I use, the 4K from HDMI, uh, HDMI or from, or from um, what do you call the port into C type, which, uh, the uh, Chrome box has on it for video. 
So I'm thinking about this. Uh, if you have a recommendation, uh, but I'm thinking about this device here. This is it. Here's all you can plug into it. Two USB 3s, a USB 2, an HDMI, and of course it has DCN, uh, SD card, and it has uh, Ethernet. And where is the... Hmm, wait a minute. Where's the type C? Uh oh. Might have to look at that again. I noticed it has audio input from a 3.5 jack, and that might solve some of these problems that I have with. I'm using the 3.5 headset. If after this video today, maybe I'll make I'll try hooking up the old thing into the uh, headset with, that goes into the USB because I've disconnected other things to get back to a bare minimum of audio choices because uh, OBS or whatever keeps wanting to pick. Well, I don't think it's OBS's fault. My computer just wants to keep changing audio devices. Anyway, let's look at, uh, let's see. I use, by the way, uh, uh, I have a wire, you know, network wire that runs into my computer instead of using Wi-Fi. So, uh, anyway, this looks interesting. I think this is, it's a USB port. Anyway, I'm in, well, look at this one. Five and one, look at, maybe the dial on it or something. So I haven't made my final decision on, uh, on this yet, so. Anyway, I will let you know today how it goes with this new cell phone service provider. And thank you very much for watching.